We are back and we are diving once again into the deep end of game dev with upgrading Mr. Pips to Unity 2019.3 and encountering all the errors it's spotted. And of course, some tips and tricks on how to get you through this upgrade process. We're Snitty. I'm Christer. And I'm Claire. And on this channel, we talk about game development and we're sharing our journey as we've gone along. Oh yeah! We are currently working on the Life of Mr. Pips, a cute little adventure game where you get to play as a little strawberry who's trying to find his place in life. Over the last few weeks, Mr. Pips has finally been completed. Well, a horizontal slice of it at least. With the final cutscene finally wrapped up and the main core gameplay finished, we were so happy! Yay! We could finally see the end of Mr. Pips, so we just needed to work on adding some more sound effects and polish. But that's when things started to go wrong. When we started wrapping up the lighting of our cave, we noticed a horrible, unfixable lighting bug with lightweight render pipeline, which was a confirmed bug in the Unity forums. Thanks to the Game Dev Friends Club, especially the Chief and Z, we tried our best to debug and fix it. But alas, we had to do the one thing we didn't want to do. Upgrade Unity. Dun, dun, dun. We've tried to upgrade to 2019.3 before, but we had to roll back because we noticed that our animations broke, our lighting broke, pretty much everything in the project broke. So we were concerned to do this upgrade, especially so late in the project. But before we tackled this challenge, we decided, let's make some bread. Oh yeah. Why are you not baking? I am baking. Are you now? I'm baking here instead. Oh. You have to do the heavy lifting as well. Yeah, the, the external baking, I can do it. With our tummies stuffed full of very nummy bread, we got started with upgrading our project. We've actually learned a lot from this process and we'll be sharing a few tips and tricks a little bit later on in this video. Thankfully, the upgrade was smoother than we thought. No unexpected behavior changes or performance. Lighting was drastically improved once we set it up again and we didn't have many script errors. However, our animations and terrains were gone. At least we expected the animations to be gone. We're skating on sunshine. Whoa! <laughs> for Mr. Pips, our animations no longer worked for any of our characters, but this wasn't Unity's fault, which we initially thought. Our first mistake was using a blend files directly in Unity instead of using FBX export files. Unity will do an FBX export under the hood using the Blender version you currently have installed which worked well until we upgraded Blender, then upgraded Unity, and all these files were regenerated using the new Blender and broke. With my computer to the rescue, we fixed it by just exporting the FBX files with the animations from an older version of Blender and added this into Unity instead. Seems like we had our export settings a bit wrong, so it took a while to fix whilst looking pretty funny. I mean, it's big, big blueberries, big strawberries, I mean, come on! We've been using the Complete Terrain Shader tool to make our terrain texturing more efficient and automated using a triplanar texturing technique. But this tool is quite complex and we haven't quite fully understood how to use it. And it's broken on us quite a few times, but somehow we've been able to stitch it back together every time, but not this time. We just couldn't get it to work. The tool is compatible with 2019.3, but by this point it had already caused us so many headaches that we just decided to throw it out after many hours of grief. In the new version of Unity, the terrain tools have been improving quite a bit, so we're willing to give them another shot. From this, we have learned to only use the tools you really need to use. Putting more tools into your project than necessary, you've just bloat it, and you'll have to learn more things and more things to maintain and more things which can break. Some tips and tricks we learned when upgrading Unity was that before you even start upgrading, make sure to back it up and or commit it if you're using Git. If you're using Git, you can always make another branch, which means that you will never really lose your work and you can see how everything is working before you fully commit it to the main project. If possible, have your project working on two machines because some script might disappear and you can't see their serialized values once you upgrade. This helped us a lot with our post-processing since Unity had changed the structure of these scripts. So we had to set it up from scratch and then we were copying the field values from one computer to another and that was really helpful doing it that way. Export a working build of your game before the upgrade so you have a reference for performance, how everything is currently working in the game, and also the build size of the game itself. And lastly, remember to check compatibility of your scripts in the asset store before upgrading. With the majority of bugs fixed in 2019.3, we can finally start wrapping up Mr. Pips and adding that extra little polish that we wanted to do in the first place. 
During the last few months, we've been streaming every Saturday morning on Twitch. And we want to thank you so much for the guys who've been there with us every Saturday. It's been so much fun. We had such a good time. You know who you are. You've been watching, you've been hanging out, you've been chatting with us. It's been a good time. And it's also kept us really, really motivated and staying on track with doing game dev, even when we've been submerged in lots and lots of work. You need to pick the right we here. <laughs> This is Claire. <laughs> and people are loving that. <laughs> We've been looking forward to every Saturday. Yes, it's been the highlight of, of our week. <laughs> exactly. Now remember to hit that like and subscribe. Smash it if you like. You know, like this little girl right here. Yeah, Claire, it's okay. Don't, don't, don't hurt the button. Be nice to it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. You guys are absolutely awesome. And we hope you have an absolutely awesome week too. And until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.